Hi, welcome to Maya's world. All right, y'all, I have not made a YouTube video in a minute. Um, I'm going through a lot. I'm in a transitional time right now, very transitional. I'm not gonna say what I'm going through until after I've gone through it, but hopefully things should be settled in around three to four weeks. So maybe check back the end then, and I'm gonna give you all more details. Um, I want to talk about something that happened yesterday or was it yesterday or was it two days ago either happened yesterday or two days ago that just it really blew my mind like okay so i'll give some background um before i get into the story i just want to like explain who i or say who i am my name is mayowa um i make a lot of different content um i make content on colorism content on freeform locks natural hair discussions in anti-blackness that's my thing Okay, and um, I just want to talk about what happened to me yesterday where I essentially got dragged online in the worst way. And um, I want to go into how it made me feel because that shit had me crying. So, boom. I don't really... It started, it started all on Twitter. I don't even really be using Twitter like that. Like, I, Well, I do use it a lot, but I don't have a big following. I'm like pretty like low-key on Twitter. And so I like uploaded a picture, okay, no, before the picture, there was like this discourse going around about what 4C hair was and wasn't. And there was some little, some woman, and she kept saying like, if you have 4C hair, your hair is supposed to be curly, but it's just like you don't put the right products in it. And I'll probably like link up some of the pictures that she was using. All the people that she was using, she was making it seem like 4C hair can be like, in this like tight curl thing. And obviously like I had just actually found out that like this whole rating system of like 1A, 1B, 1C, 4A, 4B, 4C is actually just really anti-black because it comes from somebody called Andre, Andre Walker who's like this white passing person that said that like kinky nappy hair deserves to be like half needs to get a perm. So like I would hope that we can move away from using the system, but just for the time being of the system that we have, that's like what I'm working in because most people are able to like recognize what kind of hair texture they have from his system. And so she kept being like, "Oh, this is 4C hair. You just don't keep your hair well. This is 4C hair." Just, and then a lot of people were just showing up 4C hair, and it wasn't 4C hair. It was like 4A hair. Like there was all like loose hair textures, and I feel like there's even even if you Google 4C hair, a lot of the pictures of people is like not 4C hair. There's a lot of lying going on, and I really hate that. Like if you know something about me, I really hate lying, especially lying to people who are very vulnerable, like the natural hair community, because the whole community, like I don't even really consider myself to be a part of the natural hair community, and I'll explain why, like in this video. Boom. So I saw her doing all this little nonsense here and there, and I uploaded a picture of me when I first started freeforming, or when my hair was like shorter and then a picture of me now or a couple weeks ago and i was like this is 4c hair that's all i wrote i wake up the next day I buy it. like that post went viral and like in the end it ended up getting like 30,000 likes and like loads of reshares and stuff like that and i was like okay wow well, like i didn't expect that and um what happened after that oh yeah and then like so for the most part like people was really nice about it in the beginning because if y'all like have ever seen like a post go viral the way it usually goes like when a post goes viral or like gets a lot of views like the beginning is always like really sweet and then the last like a couple days later that's when the real hate starts to come so in the beginning everyone was like really nice about it and then it suddenly became people just like making fun of my hair but i'm so used to it at this point like i make content about having nappy hair like people i exist in this world as a real person so when i walk down the street people be treating me a certain way and that's just how i've learned to navigate like i get a lot of love it's always the extremes i get a lot of love but i also get a lot of hate I'm Nigerian, you know, uh, on the content when I'm, in, when I'm in Nigeria, like there are certain people who really associate my hair with like being demonic or practicing uh, witchcraft or whatever, which is really anti-black anyways. And I, yeah, that's like a whole nother conversation because of the way that like Christianity was enforced through colonialism. But that's not what we're talking about right now. So I'm aware of how I navigate. I'm aware of like how people treat me. So when I hear people like come for me online, like I feel like I'm kind of used to it, unfortunately. Especially too because I make content about colorism and I be getting death threats from content about colorism every single time I post it. So I'm like really, you know, certain things I'm just kind of used to. So um, I saw, I screenshot like the post from my Twitter and I put it on my on my um, Instagram with like a bunch of content about 4C hair. Like 4C hair is the nappiest hair texture, 
foicy hair is kinky it's not curly it's it's like there's no curl pattern if and i even said i was like if you lie and say you have foicy hair when you don't there's a special place in hell for you and i believe that because i feel like it's very it's very mean to intentionally lie and pretend like you have a nappy architecture than you don't just to benefit and see profit because you're actually stepping on black people who don't have opportunities to showcase their hair so i wrote my little thing it got like a lot of traction i was like okay cool this natural hair blah, like a big hair natural a big platform they have like a hundred and six thousand followers and i'm gonna name names because you're about to drag me through the motherfucking mud and think that you're gonna go unscathed bro like let me tell you the name of the, the fucking thing just give me one second all right it's called it's like a platform on instagram called natural hair bombshells anyway i wake up the next like yesterday and i see that i was like tagged in a post and the post had like thousands of likes and like hundreds of comments i like i have like a lot of restrict like rules when it comes to sharing my work because a lot of times when people share my work it gets me fucking dogpiled depending on your platform so like for example i would make work about about colorism i've had somebody who's had a bigger platform who is light-skinned screenshot only one part of my work not the whole thing just screenshot it and then it sends low and then their their fucking following is colorist and then it sends loads of hate my way so i'm always very careful with and also just like the concept of you creating work and then somebody who who benefits from colorism using your work without asking for your permission and then you getting the brunt of the attack versus like them attacking that person for you know what i mean like there's something about it i really like i hate it so like i've always been like okay if you use my work please ask me for permission if you're gonna like put it on your page i don't mind if you share it in your stories but when you put it on your page it often will create more hate for me and i have to be very very careful with that online because like for me to keep doing the work i'm doing like i have to kind of navigate in like a uh, unconventional way because like i'm getting fucking death threats so they didn't ask i wake up and i see like a picture of myself on the page and the fucking caption said thoughts bro the comments was the meanest shit i've ever read like and it was just a picture of me like it's a selfie right so like i don't know like the comments was so mean like people was like she's so unkept she's so dirty she's ugly as fuck like lol why did that page ping someone say i'm gonna show you i'm gonna, uh, sorry not ping pinned they pinned a comment talking about i was unkept so like the page has set me up to get dog piles, had set me up to get attacked, right? So they put as a selfie of me, she wrote thoughts, and then there was negative, hundreds of negative comments. And it was all negative. But I think that's the part that's hardest is like, you know, I make content, so I get a lot of hate for it. Specifically because if you talk about things that people don't want to hear, like you're going to get pushback for it. So when I make my content, I get hate, but I also have people that come to my defense and say things. So that makes me feel better when, when like if someone's like, oh, fuck you, you're ugly. And then somebody's like, don't say that. Then it feels like it's a one to one. But when you read hundreds of comments, that's just all negative about how you look, what you, what you like, your hair, something that is like very spiritual and it's just like no one is arguing in rebuttal like especially because the page had set it up for me to get dog by the page had set it up for me to get attacked it just put me like i cried yo like i was like whoa i can't believe how much this hurts me and i wasn't gonna address it and then i was like no fuck this like this is really fucked up because i went through the fucking page and i looked at every single picture that this person this platform natural blumps is like it's a majority light-skinned people who have like 3c hair texture maybe a 4a but like for the most part it's like light-skinned people people who benefit from featureism colorism texturism all of that and it's supposed to be like a natural hair page and when she i, I screenshot everything because you know me i'd be having receipts honey so i must put them up but every single time she posted somebody who was light skinned she would put a heart eyes and be like oh my god look how beautiful they are right and then with me being the darkest person on that fucking platform she writes thoughts like that's fucked up that's fucking colorist like you don't attack anyone else and it's so in 4k bitch like i have the screenshots and i have the screenshots of her pinning the comment that somebody was saying where i was unkept and my hair is disgusting like she pinned it so clearly she's doing this to set me up and i have put it on my page y'all who follow me are some of the realest people because the ways that y'all the ways in which my followers just came they came with the hands 
the, every comment had a rebuttal, 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 and uh, and saying that you know this is fucked up, and I that like warmed my heart just seeing because this is like when you only read negative comments about yourself, especially like on a page that's on your own page, it gets so overwhelming because that's what, what you feel like people think about you. So it was so nice to see my followers then come and fight back, and then the lady who runs the page like took it all down, wrote some weak ass statement where she was like. Oh, um, the co I've never received such negative comments under this girl's pictures. The way you're writing about this girl talking about me is really disgusting. Like, I, I, I don't approve of it. And I'm like, but you do though, right? Because you, you took my picture without permission and you pencil making fun of me. So don't now act like you didn't know that it was going to happen like that when you actually clearly set me up. And it's interesting because that page had 106,000 followers. So when you make fun of me to such a big platform, it's going to hurt even harder. Then she messaged me like some weak ass apology saying she didn't intend to do that. And it's like, you literally did like you pinned that comment and this is what I, I was like intent doesn't matter when you cause harm if you intend to hurt me or you don't intend to hurt me like the way you navigate is fucking colorist as fuck you are setting up dark skin nappy headed people to be attacked and if your hair page is a natural hair page and um you put up a picture of me with my hair and it gets so much hate that literally proves that your page isn't for people who have natural hair your page is for people who have acceptable black hair texture that society wants to see because why would someone if we have a, a natural hair and i have natural hair why why if, if if your page is all about promoting and uplifting people then why am i getting attacked at the numbers that i am it clearly shows that your audience does not want to see people like me like you literally she literally had to remove the post because it was getting hundreds and hundreds of negative comments and then my people coming back to respond but if my people didn't respond i didn't call her out she would never have removed the post because that stuff gives engagement right like and so this is what i mean it's like they're they move like the shade room and i was reading some of the comments and it was really interesting because people were saying things like oh um she doesn't even have she doesn't have 4c hair she has 4z hair like she just she does she's not in the hair, natural hair movement i don't know what she has on her head but it's not natural hair because it's so nappy and it's just like we got to the point where like we literally like they don't even want me to be a part of the natural hair community and that's for like many fucking reasons too right that's like literally on colorism like you would rather me become like you want to kick me out of 4c and that's the farthest fucking nappiest hair texture instead of other people just being like maybe i'm a 4b maybe i'm a 4a you want to say i'm not a 4c and i need they need to be a new space created for me because my hair is so nappy and people were saying i was ugly and, and I, I looked unkept and lazy and somebody was like right it's just like really 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 mean stuff and i just think it's really interesting um kind of having that like that in, in in relationship to also with colorism and how like um like the word like how blackness has become like the way that people view blackness is like it can be anything and everything which i literally don't agree with because blackness is phenotypical so it's how you read someone and if you're not red as black you're not black like i don't it's simple maths but like if somebody like rashida jones can be considered black and then and then somebody like um, me or lupita is considered black then like it literally sometimes i think people are more inclined to want a rashida jones in blackness than they would ever not not sometimes people want a rashida jones in blackness more than they would want a lupita and that like ends up kind of making you feel like you don't belong in blackness because like you're not represented and that's the same thing that happens with like natural hair is that i feel like i'm not considered like a natural hair like person because like i don't fit the images of what people would hope with natural hair and it made me really mad because the people in the comments were like, she doesn't have 4C hair, she has locks. How you think I got the locks? It's from the 4C hair. Like, th this is what I mean. Like, it's such an ignorance with how we talk about um, blackness. And this shit is anti-black as fuck. Like, reading all them comments, it's just, it's literally just people saying anti-black things towards me. Like, talking about how I look, talking about my hair. In all ways, that literally just kind of says, like, oh, we don't want that kind of blackness. Like, how do you have a black hair page and it attacks black people? That don't make no sense. Then they literally have white people on that hair page and they don't get attacked in the comments. The comments are so positive for them. You put up a black dark skinned person with nappy hair and literally you have to take it down because you've never received such negative comments. Your page is booky, bro. Your page fucking sucks. Like that's what it literally means is that it's actually not for people. Just accept that. Like your page is literally for light skinned people with 3C hair. Just keep it a buck. Um, so... That shit was really hard, but I'm like very thankful for the people who like support my work and support like and see themselves in me because like that was like the most beautiful part to it is just like knowing I have people who are like, no, what you're not going to do is make fun of somebody for having nappy hair. Like that's what we're not going to do because that's anti-black and that's always fucked up. That's innately fucked up. And for that, that blog, natural hair bombshell, what the fuck ever, like if you like literally like the natural hair community is so fucking ridiculous and like this is like. 
It's like all they want to do is fucking sell you products. Like that's what the pages are. Is like the pages, the, the pages are like literally like fucking working full time for like white supremacy and capitalism. Like, oh, get these products because your hair is so fucking ugly. Like, what kind of uplifting shit is that? Like, we didn't come to this planet to literally fucking pu push products to people. Like, if that's what your shit is, like you just sell, 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 sell. Like, you really need to like look at yourself because we came out. I came out the motherfucking womb, the womb with no goddamn products in my hair, and I'm gonna die with no products in my hair. So like, I'm not finna sell you things, and I think that's why people also don't want me to speak on natural hair because I'm not selling things so brands would not hit me up because I'm not going to sell their fucking products because I don't believe you need products to exist you are beautiful as you are you are whole as you are and how y'all treated me was actually disgusting and when you see these hair pages and they're literally just only existing through colorism through only promoting light skin people with certain hair textures like y'all fucking suck like y'all really suck that shit made me so mad. Like you're you're out you're out here having people cry, yo. Like because your your comments are so reckless. Like how do you have a run of a black hair page and you don't feel the need to like delete these comments telling someone that they look like shit and you pinning comments where people are making fun of me and everything is I have everything in 4K. She was trying to deny it, being like, oh I didn't knew no. It's like I have all the screenshots. If there's one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna screenshot the fuck out some shit. So I'm gonna drop my receipts and just keep it pushing. So yeah, that was that. And it sucked because like then I was like literally working on a colorism piece and I'm like, yo, between getting dog piled for colors and getting dog piled for textures, I'm like, it's a lot. And like, I know I have like a lot of, like I still have privileges within the 4C hair community. Like I benefit from featurism, I am thin. And I would love to see like fat, disabled, dark skinned people with nappy hair speaking as well. But it's just a lot for the intersections that I do have. Like it is a lot. So yes, but like I said, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, there will be some transitionary things and hopefully I pray out to God that everything just goes as smoothly as it's supposed to go because hey I need a break but yeah thanks for watching have a great day cheers